Today I'm driving back to my hometown. It's about 13 hours from here. It's in Grand Junction, Colorado. And But before I do that, I just wanted to do a quick little update on the 350, just some little things that I did. They're doing some kind of truck training right here. They have like a bunch of cones set up and they're teaching them how to drive, I guess. But anyways, I don't know if you can tell, but I did tint the windows darker. Um, this right here is gonna be 5%. And then this right here is 35% over 35, which comes out to be 13. I did a meter on it. And then this back window is also 5%. So I went as dark as you could. The front's a little illegal for Texas. The limit is 25 for Texas, but on the backs you can do 5%. It doesn't really matter. And then on the front, the headlights were getting pretty dull. So what I did is I took 2,000 grit sandpaper and I sanded them down a little bit. And then... I clear coated them with some kind of like, it's like a clear coat that's made for plastic and it's supposed to be really glossy and stuff. They turned out pretty good. This one I need to redo. I didn't sand this one down enough. There's still oxidation and I clear coated over that. So I have to get the clear coat off and then also do it. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I don't even know if I'm going to. I might just leave it. And then also my front bumper issue with it being super faded all the time. I kind of found a fix. I mean, it looks a lot better. There's some kind of, it's called Xylon. It's some kind of like protectant. And I put it on my car so that I can do this road trip because it's a 13 hour drive. So I, just, I wanted to put some kind of protectant on the front. And when I put it on, it got rid of all the little white speckles. Like, I don't know what it did, but, or how, why it did it, but I don't know. It's pretty cool. My bumper looks all red again. It looks really good. Yeah, but I did our oil change yesterday just for the drive. And then when I get back, I'm going to do another one. But, uh, yeah, she's all ready for the drive. Oh, one other thing I wanted to talk about, actually. Uh, while I'm in Colorado, I'm going to be there for about a week. I'm hosting a car meet through Cars Infinite. So I'm going to be doing a car meet down there. We're going to kind of meet up, hang out for like an hour or so, and then we're going to do a little quick cruise. And I'm trying to get a, gonna get really good footage of that so I can do a cool little cinematic video. But um, I'm also actually going to drag race my car. I know it's just stock and whatnot, but I'm actually going to take it to the, it's a quarter mile drag race. I'm gonna take it down and maybe run it a couple times, just see what it does, just see what I can get it get it to do as is, as is. So then, maybe in the future, when I uh, add mods or whatever, if I do decide to do that, then I have something to compare with, see how I'm doing. Just got to where I'm gonna be staying for the night. Um, I'm just gonna go grab some food real quick and then I'm gonna head back to here and then I'm probably just gonna go to bed so I can get up early in the morning and then do the rest of the drive tomorrow. I only did four hours today because I got off work at four o'clock so I only went until about eight o'clock. Stopped here and then I'm gonna do the other nine hours tomorrow morning. Can I do the uh, honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich? What kind of drink can I get for you? Um, just Coke or Pepsi, whichever one. Alright, what else today? That's it. That was a pain to actually find a place around here that has a 91. If you don't know, the 350Zs recommend you take 91, and I've heard if you don't, like if you do just regular, like, unleaded or whatever, then, uh, like 86 or something, then you can experience, like, rod knock, like you can hear it a lot more, I don't know. I've never done it, I've always just stuck to 91, so I don't actually know, but that was actually a really 
pain in the ass. I went to three different places before I found one that actually did 91 around here, which is kind of weird. I want to put 93 in my car one time, but I've never found a gas station that actually has 93. All right, that's going to do it for the night. I'm just going to go ahead and eat and then go to bed. And then early in the morning, I'm going to get up and then do the rest of the drive. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Day two. Start off with a, uh, a good old cold start. It is currently almost 4 p.m. I'm going to head and go get some coffee and then be on our way. My freaking key fob stopped working on me. I don't know why. It was back when I did my radio install. As soon as I got my radio or my new head unit in, my key fob stopped working. I think I have to get it reprogrammed or something because I changed out the batteries in the key fob and that didn't do anything either. I still have over half a tank, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop and get some gas real quick. It's kind of expensive here though, but it's like the only place in this little town. But I don't really know how many gas stations there are from here till uh, I get out of New Mexico. I just got in New Mexico, by the way. It is freaking cold here though. Let's see. Right now it's 39 degrees here. That's really cold for right now. I'm used to like 80 degree weather every day.
sausage, egg McMuffin, and some chocolate milk in uh, Salida. Salida? I think it's Salida. Salida, Colorado. And on our way. Finally made it. Oh, shut up. Oh, 13 hours later. I'm just gonna pop the hood and leave it open for a little bit, let it cool down. My coolant temps were actually running really well. They were about 190 the whole trip. So that's not bad at all. And I got like 41 miles to the gallon.